Hello everyone, how are you? This is Diego El Flaco from Colombia and today I wanted to talk with you about design tokens. It is an inevitable topic nowadays and um, yeah, to be honest, to be totally honest, it was it was killing my curiosity. I, I, I wanted to try it out but yeah, I didn't really understand it at all, to be honest. I, I had the idea, but but I was a little bit confused on how to actually implement it. Implement it. So yeah, I did a lot of tests, review a lot of content on the internet, um, reference tutorials, and and today I I finally I would say that I finally managed to to shape a simple file that that has the essence of, of what it is all about and yeah I wanted to share it with you so let's jump into it so here I have this file it's the same uh, button file that, that we've been working on and basically the idea is that if you configure the tokens in a, in a good way which is basically the same structure that we have here but with with an extra level that allows you to use the same source of truth right but you could add like different labels depending on the purposes so so you don't only have like a purple that it's there and you need to figure out why or, or where you use that color um, you have like semantic context now with with tokens so what's the way that that you could test it let me show you quickly i have here the design tokens plugin which i consider is awesome and in at we, we have like three levels right we have the global light and dark you can combine them or you can use it them uh, here for instance uh, treat as a source and at the global level i added all the atomic colors that we are used to right i have here i created and i added here and the basic structure structure there and then i started to at the beginning to understand the complexity of a good naming convention of course you could just use a basic one if you want but depending on the yeah, the capacity that you want to 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 create, or or the places where you where your system is going to be, um, then you need to to be really specific or not. So in this case, I just test a really specific one, uh, just in case you need to change uh, all of those details, switching between, for instance, in light and dark mode. So if you do the work properly, the idea is that you can select between them and it will automatically without creating more components are the, the same ones that I have there and of course using properties so are really simple and just by switching these these ones it, it, it is going to adjust the entire content so if I go here for instance in the test uh, I only need to switch these ones and it will work even with my prototypes so I have everything there all changed in with one click and everything works perfectly it's just absolutely amazing of course I need to try it more uh, because yeah the real deal here is to connect this with a um, an environment a real developed environment so we will have the opportunity to sync our work from from both sides right they can send us an update and i can send from here uh, to the dev guides uh, an update if if uh, depending of course in each specific case so yeah this was everything i think that it's absolutely awesome i will share with you the file and i will try to separate sometimes to also create tutorials talking about uh, this so yeah thank you guys bye bye